It all started with lungwort lichen, also known as Loberia pulmonaria, a beautiful organism that lives in the rainforests of Oregon. I couldn't stop thinking about it, so I decided to sculpt a whimsical but elegant tea set in its honor. I don't throw any of my pottery on a wheel. Instead, I hand build it using techniques like pinching, coiling, or slab building. I really enjoy this way of working with clay. It feels really grounded and ancient to me, but it's also the most accessible way I can do ceramics. Since I can't sit or stand for long periods of time, I do 90% of my work from bed on this little overbed table that I have. Sculpting is something I can do even on fairly bad days of my health condition, and it is such a beautiful distraction from the pain that I'm consistently in. I find great comfort in clay in the process of sculpting and in bringing my visions to life. And on days when I can't be out running around in those beautiful rainforests, it helps me feel connected to the earth. I tend to be very detail-oriented in my designs. I figure if something's going to be around for thousands of years, I might as well make it as special and magical as I can. There's something really special about working in a medium that lasts through the ages, that literally becomes stone as you fire it. And sometimes I wonder about the future of my pieces, how long they'll be around, what people in the future will think of them. After many years of working in shared ceramic studios, I now have my own kiln, which makes it a lot easier for me to create work, fire it, and then start the glazing process, as shown here. Unsurprisingly, I am just as detailed with my glaze work as I am with my sculpting. Just glazing this tea set took the better part of two full days. But I happen to really love this process of envisioning the way different glazes will look layered atop one another, of painting something one color knowing that it will come out a completely different color after the magic of the kiln. For example, these reddish glazes I'm using are red because they contain iron, which after firing often produces greens and browns. Just wait, you'll see. I wanted a lot of depth to my lichen for it to look as deep and rich and beautiful as the real version of what I'm sculpting. It's so fascinating to me to compare pieces before firing to after. There's the reveal. I'm so happy with the colors and textures of these pieces, the contrast, the depth, everything about them. The Kiln Gods definitely treated me well with this project. What do you think?